fellow Transformer Nations, and this is Latin Label with another Transformers. The other day I was just browsing some of those Transformer websites, CFW 2005, and I, I noticed that um, that's how I keep up with all the new Transformers that come out, and I noticed that their Dollar Tree had uh, Transformers. I saw a post saying that, hey, if you go to Dollar Tree, you'll find some Transformers. I'm like, what? I don't think I've seen in Family Tree Transformers. Um, actually, I just got some there, but... I have never seen any in Dollar Tree. So I headed up to my local Dollar Tree, actually where the Dollar Tree um, near my work. And yes, indeed, they, we, I did find these. Um, these are not transformable. These are Dollar Tree Transformers. They were a dollar. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. This is Optimus Prime, as you can see. Very, very nice. He is a keychain. You can see it says Figaro back clip. Actually, he's a back clip. Um, so even cooler. I mean, if you're if you have a messenger bag or a book bag, um, uh, or in, even one of those cool um, lunch boxes, lunch bag, uh, you can uh, clip him in. He has the two uh, logos there, the Autobot symbols. No eyes. Can't really see the these are the eyes, but he's the the G1 figure. It says ages four and up. You can see that clip here on the back. The, the G1 packaging. And if you look here at the back, these are the ones that they've made. Optimus, uh, Bumblebee, Soundwave, and Megatron. Uh, when I went to the store, I only saw Optimus, Bumblebee, and Megatron. I don't really collect Megatrons, but I did get a Bumblebee and I will be getting the Soundwave. Uh, so you see here, it's uh, Transformers Authentic. And check this out, it says Monogram. Walnut, California. All right, let's see. What else can we see here from the back? The Hasbro uh, information and made in China right here at the bottom, which is something I always look for just to see the different places they're made. Um, let's go ahead and do a comparison. I'm gonna stand them up here next to one of my souvenirs from Greece. All right, so this is the G1 Autobot Gears. A little smaller than him. I mean, the packaging is bigger, but the figure itself is smaller. All right. And we have Bumblebee as well. So Bumblebee is a little better, has a better paint apps. Look at his face. You can tell the nose. Like has the G1-ish pose. So to the side, you can see the tire is not painted, but still pretty cool. Let's see what the size is here. Looks about the same size. No, Optimus is a little bigger. But they look pretty cool, huh? Um, so I'm going to buy a couple more. I'm going to take some out of packaging. I'm going to leave a couple in packaging. Because, I don't know. I was just going to be nostalgic later on when the years go by and they still have the packaging. Any of you do that? Leave a lot of your Transformer in packaging? I'm starting to do that a lot more with my Transformers. Uh, I'm not sure why. But it's something that you can always change your mind and open them. But once you open them, you can't go back, you know. Uh, you could always tape it back, glue it back, but it won't look it won't look nice. Um, so there you go. I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you are near a Dollar Tree, definitely go and uh, scoop up your Dollar Tree Transformers um, bag clips. They're a dollar a piece. Hey, thank you for watching. I hope you have a happy and blessed Thanksgiving. God bless.